Hey guys, the Bloon here, and today's another BTD6 video. It's been a minute since my last video, but I am back and ready for action. Today is going to be shoots on half cash. Let's jump in. <laughs> Before we drop that first tower, definitely hit that like button if you like what you're watching. Consider subscribing if you're new or if you've been here a few times and haven't hit that button yet because it does really help out the channel. And then also follow on the Instagram and follow on Twitch. I normally live stream balloons every Wednesday and Sunday and then a lot of just random streams in between. I have been a little absent these last couple of weeks. I've not been making videos or streaming, just a lot of crazy personal stuff going on. I had to take a little bit of a break, but I'm back and better than ever and I will be randomly streaming again. Um, my big fix lately has been Call of Duty guys and I have been trying so, so, so hard to get good at Warzone and it's just not been paying off. I'm not as good as I would like to be, but I am going to be streaming that one, Animal Crossing, just random stuff that I've been playing a lot of. So if you guys want to join me there and for balloons, definitely follow on Twitch. Now, with all that said, let's get into this game. What we're doing here is shoots on half cash. And unfortunately, I do have to use monkey knowledge because at this point, guys, I'm just going to be honest. I think every map I have left that has half cash is going to need monkey knowledge. They're just getting way too hard. I've spent a lot of time on this one trying to make it without it. And the best I could do is come up with like, I think it was like 15, no, not that many, like eight dart monkeys. And then I would go to sell them to get either like a sub or a hero and then just fail miserably. So what we're going to do here today is use monkey knowledge, but with it, it's going to be a very, very, very easy strategy. So with that said, use what you have, try it out. I don't think you'll have any problems. Even, even if you only have half the monkey knowledge, as long as you have like the mana shield, extra starting cash, free dart monkey, stuff like that. I think you guys will be just fine. And I'm going to be using Quincy because I know you guys all have him and he's just, he wrecks it on half cash guys on 76 and 78. He is just sent from the heavens to come down and destroy these balloons because as you guys know, you don't have that much money or that much power when it comes to half cash. So to have him pretty much solo two of the hardest rounds, is just awesome. So real cool stuff. And we're going to get him pretty early on, which is pretty nice. Um, do not be overwhelmed by the spikes because they're just there because I can't choose to not have them. And um, you guys still have your mana shield and you guys still have lives left and we should have at least 100 lives plus our mana shield by the end of this. And so what I mean is that even without spikes, you guys are just fine losing lives. Remember, you can finish with one. As long as you finish with a life, you are good to go. So even if you're down to 20 or 30 by the end, it really doesn't matter. So to stick with this, I think you guys will have no problems. And if for whatever reason it is still too tough and not working out, let me know below in the comment section. And then also to uh, what I would recommend is just grind out my other videos. So like the chimps, impoppables with no monkey knowledge, half caches with no monkey knowledge, all the ones I have ever done that without monkey knowledge, so you guys can copy me just exactly as I did. And then you guys can go back and get as much monkey knowledge points as you can to come back to beat these ones, if that makes any sense. Basically, just play the game, play it a lot, and you will get there. So if you guys love the game as much as I do and have played it as much as I have, then I don't think you'll be having any problems. I was going to say it didn't take that long to get that much monkey knowledge because I, in my head, I don't really play this that much. But then I, if you add up the times, like just today to get this one ready, I think it's like three or four hours, which isn't that much when it comes to games like RPGs and shooters, things like that. You spend hours on them, but for... Um, when you look back and say that you've been on one level for four hours, it's kind of like, woof, that's crazy. So I have played this game quite a lot. My Steam hours, I can check my Steam hours. I wish I could check my mobile hours because I know Steam's well over 200. So to imagine that like I play my phone 10 times more than I play on the PC is just crazy to think of how many hours I have on this phone or my phone for this game, which is crazy 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 and if i remember at the end of this video i really want to show you guys that i finally got my 365 day chest which is really really cool and it's taken a long time it's taken a year and then just balloons turned two years old the other day did you guys see that i'm gonna use my ability here because i don't want to lose any lives not i don't think i would have but i just don't want to um on june 14th which was my anniversary for me and my wife our two-year anniversary balloons I guess came out two years ago, which I didn't know because I was busy getting married that day. So it's kind of cool. We have the same anniversary, but I saw that on Instagram. I thought it was pretty awesome. So anyways, guys, uh, let's get this to advanced Intel, which is one of the reasons why we placed these guys over here. I'm just babbling again, guys. I'm right back at it. I was like, I wonder if I'm going to know how to talk to the camera after being gone for a week and a half. Then I jump right back in and just yap, 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 yap. And so I think everything's, everything's good to go. But I want to know what's been up with you guys for the past couple weeks. I know I've been super busy. So what's kind of happened with me, just a little quick rundown. 
why I've been gone. So my work started to pick up. You know, guys know I sell houses and stuff. And since the whole, you know, virus has been out, it's been kind of slow. And then all of a sudden it was like poof, crazy and everything, everybody needs me and all that kind of stuff. So I've been dealing with that. We've went on like two different vacations, like a little mini vacation just because it's summer season. You gotta, you know, get that burn on, which is why my nose is a little red right here. And then on top of that, guys, on July 1st, I am starting my master's to start teaching, which um, I worked for the school district a long time, like for eight years, a couple of years back. For a long time, I worked there and I really liked it back then. And so I'm gonna try to, a little late in life, but I'm gonna change up my careers and kind of step back a little bit from real estate and go back to teaching or go back into the school district, I guess you'd say. And so then on July 1st, um, it's gonna get a little crazy because now I'm gonna be doing school, my work, and balloons, and streaming, all that stuff. So it's gonna get a little hectic, which it has already been hectic, which is why I had to take off some time just to prep for everything. So really excited, new changes in futures, new all this stuff coming up, and just it's gonna be a crazy fun chapter. I hope you guys are all there, and I hope this channel can keep growing and going crazy like it has been because, oh my gosh, guys, um, I don't know if I said that in the beginning of this, but what's happening is that as of July of last year, I had 200 subscribers. At that time, I started hitting this hard. I did at least three videos a week until just the other day when I stopped for about a week. I was hitting them three times a week at least, right? And had 200 subs. And now one year later, we're at 16,700 or 6,600 subs, which is pure insanity for me to grow that fast in one year. So I'm so, so, so excited. I would love to see that growth continue. So. You guys are awesome. Hopefully YouTube doesn't trash me too much because it's kind of like the thing if you, I use an ability there and then I also have this, um, let me get back to this game guys, Jesus. Um, okay, so what's going on is I have an acidic mixture dip because we have nothing to pop leads. So um, this guy's gonna pop leads and hopefully he's gonna make the sub pop leads as well and we should be okay for this one. Um, I think what's going on here too, yeah, that's probably a problem. We're gonna get rid of this guy. So he was putting his little alchemist juice on the dart monkey. We don't want that, we want him on the sub. Okay, so back to the game, or back to what I was saying. So, what was I saying? Well, I think it was somewhere along the lines of, it's been a year, it's been crazy, hope it stays that way. Oh, YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like a known thing with YouTube. If you stop doing YouTube for even like a week or so, um, they kind of like just trash on you and they don't really recommend your stuff as much. So hopefully you guys are still there and I love all you guys and I hope this channel keeps growing. Uh, but it makes sense though. It's like if you were to call up your boss and say, hey boss, I need a personal week and then you come back and everything's different or they don't put you in the same you know, important spot or they just straight up fire you, it makes sense, like you're gone, right? And so it makes sense that YouTube's like, well, you weren't here, so we're not gonna just hold your spot in line. So it makes sense, but Anyways, guys, let's keep on going with this. Now that we have this guy to a 200 and he's popping our leads, we have our airburst, we're pretty much good to go. Hopefully with me babble yabbling that whole time about crazy stuff that you guys noticed that I did use that ability, I think twice. Um, other than that, it was pretty simple. I had to sell the dart monkey because the alchemist was putting his acidic mixture dip on the dart monkey, making it not work for him to pop those leads and we don't want none of that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get triple guns here for 1190 right there. And that's gonna handle 36 pretty much on its own, which is awesome. And now we're going to get Berserker Brew, and then we're gonna add a few more Dart Monkeys for range, which you guys norm normally know, or know normally, that I go with the Ninja for half cash, right? Like a Ninja and Oban, which would be great, but we wouldn't have enough money for the Bloon Jitsu and the fourth tier Alchemist on half cash. And so I prefer to go with the sub because he can see around the whole track, meaning that he's gonna get a lot more pops in because I doubt very well that having the ninja right here would even pop the Moab, let alone clean up what's underneath it. So this guy's gonna do all of that, which is really, really cool. So we're gonna get this Berserker Brew, and then we're going to get some Dart Monkeys, put him right here. And our goal here is putting him right in the middle like before, and we're gonna go long range and enhance eyesight. So now he sees this entire top, this sub will, or this sub will see all of this. And then this guy will cover the bottom here. We'll get the rest of that. And now this guy can see all of this area. So this whole track he can see, and we're gonna place this one right here. We're gonna go just one for these guys because that's all we're gonna have money for. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna take this Moab down around this corner right here. And then whatever's underneath, we're gonna use our first ability, which we really don't even need to, but just as a precaution, just do it. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do, in this order, in this order, we're gonna get this guy to armor piercing darts, then we're gonna get this guy to stronger simulant, and then we're gonna get these two to enhanced eyesight, in that order. 
I'm gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna use any abilities, nothing crazy, sell nothing, buy nothing. It's that simple. These towers rock. Let's jump ahead. All right, so we're good to go here. We have all four dart monkeys a zero, zero, two. We have this guy to a four, zero, zero, and this guy to a two, zero, four. And that this on its own will carry us all the way into the 60s very easily. So we're gonna remove this here and we're gonna start doing our next thing as well which is going to be this guy. And he's going to single-handedly take down 63 for the most part. Not single-handedly, but might as well. We're gonna change it to his left hand because I figured why not? Um, this left hand's like right on this part of the track. And then this part is on this part of the track. I don't know, it sounds good. And they have it there, let's use it. We're gonna go long range and red hot. Um, I know it's always debatable to go middle or bottom path. I always go bottom path just because it pops leads. And the more lead popping power, the better, because as you guys know, the alchemist decides sometimes that oh, I don't want to, and then he doesn't make them pop leads and then they don't. So um, I just got this guy up too fast at throwing because now he's popping two of these guys with his little, you know, alchemist juice. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get this guy up to the more glaives, not to be mistaken for Moab glaives, which they're not. I thought they were, but they're not. Okay. So we just need 32, 40, and then we're pretty much good to go for 63. That's how pretty crazy it is considering that like i don't know like for instance like the arcane spike that's who i was using for 63 or i wanted to and he can't handle it but then this guy for like half the price can destroy 63 so it's just like it's insanity to me how crazy it is so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a village and we're going to put it make sure it's in range of all three right there right there there we go we're going to go bigger radius and jungle drums I wanted to go primary training, but I'm not going to because I am going to, I don't want to have to sell it and I am going to sell this guy. So I don't see the point of buying the thing just for 63. I'm hoping that we don't need it because when I did it on my run, I did have it. So you guys know me, I like to change what works into something that doesn't work. I don't know why, it's just something in my head. So I'm going to try to make it a little better and a little bit more efficient, which sometimes pays off, but sometimes it doesn't. Like perfect example of like a life like that is we've been watching this show. Like we really watch uh, 90 day fiance cause that show's awesome. But when that's not on, they're usually playing um, extreme cheapskates, right? And these guys go to the extreme to be cheap. Like they will use like, okay, this lady, you know, like tea for tea bags. Okay. She makes her tea. She uses like two or three times. And then she uses that tea bag as a scrubber for her dishes to save money. And it's like, okay, how much can you really be saving? Like 20 cents a year or something like that. So with that said, and all those crazy cheap skates, that's kind of how I feel about this. Like, am I really going to make that big of a difference by buying this or not buying it? Like, what if I lose the game because of that $800 I'm saving? You never know. I guess you do know if you try it. But we're almost 63. What was that all about? I guess I was just pr uh, plugging that show because you guys should check it out. It's really funny, actually. Like these people, like a lot of it, you're like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. And other times you're like, dude, no, 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 no. Like this one guy uses his jacuzzi or his hot tub, whatever you guys want to call it. And he uses that to um, wash his food bowls. And then he goes and washes his clothes and then he gets in and washes his body, but doesn't change the water. And I was like, buddy, 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 you seem like a smart guy. Like, how do you think that works? Like you're using dirty water over and over and over, whatever, you know, to each their own. But it's like, and honestly, you couldn't be saving that much money, but people do what they're going to do. Okay. So I think this is good enough to go on its own. I kind of wanted to get primary training, but I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it on my own with this. And then if I have to, I can just, you know, restart it, but I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh. This guy is so good. I'm telling you guys, like it doesn't seem like he's just mopping him up, but he is because before, if you were to take him away, this wouldn't happen, like not even close. This is ridiculous how good he's doing. Oh my gosh. And now just to get rid of this, we're gonna do this and just take away, boom, just in case. All right, good to go. So now our next step, guys, is what we're going to do is we're going to get a mage because he's awesome. Don't lose because I'm busy trying to place that tower. What are you doing? Okay. So we're going to place this guy right here, somewhere right here, right? Yeah, right there. It's the hardest part of the game. Okay, got it. We're going to go top path. So here's how it works. So for 63, this guy's a million times better than this guy with the arcane spike. But what the difference is, is that this guy cannot pop camos without spending a ton of money to upgrade this thing. And also 
This guy is kind of bunk at popping Moabs compared to this guy. So once he's up to an arcane spike, he wrecks it. He just really does. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell this guy to buy this guy. Then we're going to buy another um, sub and then we're going to be pretty much good to go and the game's going to be over with. So if this one is 10,800 and we have 4,400 in him, that means we need $6,400 and then we can sell him to buy that guy. Now, the next thing after that, I think we're okay. The reason I'm not skipping ahead here is just because I don't exactly know if something's going to happen. Because like I said, I changed my strategy. I have not done a run where I have sold this guy and bought this guy. I just feel in my bones that it's going to work better because that's what I did with the sniper. And I told you the sniper was working perfectly and then he didn't. I think I was telling you that. I did it with the shrapnel shot and it was working and then it didn't work. And But what I would do is sell the shrapnel and then buy this guy. So I'm hoping that works for this guy. And I think we should be okay because now this guy's gonna wreck it on the Moabs. This guy's gonna shred the Moabs. He's gonna shred the Moabs. We're all gonna shred the Moabs. I think that's what's gonna happen here. This guy, I'm going to keep in range of him, of the Alchemist. Yeah, why not, right? Let's just do it. We'll go longer range advanced intel. We'll go twin guns. And what I'm going to do is going to skip ahead to like 76 when I either have this guy fully upgraded to the 204 or until I have to use that ability so you guys can know when to use that timing. So I got triple guns, but 75 will probably cause us problems. It's, there's always a little bit of trouble with it. And a lot of it I've seemed to realize is because the subs seem to chase those leads instead of popping. Like if you've seen it just right there, like they chase a lead that they can't pop because the alchemist, and then um, they can't pop the Moabs because they're like waiting till them. So I'm gonna use my first ability right here just to make sure we don't have any problems. All right, now we have 76 coming up here. Oh, my ability's gone, huh? Okay, but that's why we have the mage. He's awesome. Look at him go. There we go. Cool stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use my second ability right now. There you go. That's simple. Like, come on. I mean, Quincy literally solos that thing. That is crazy to me because just to think of how hard that would have been without it. Excuse me, guys. I am drinking Pepsi and it just made me burn. But luckily, you can't smell it. You just hear it, I guess. But anyways, guys, I was just thinking to myself too before this. It is so weird, like the whole concept of making a video. Like if you guys didn't catch that, like a, before I skipped that last part, I was like total out of brain fart. And I was like, oh shoot, I'm making a video. Like halfway through, I'm doing this. Let's use that ability there. That was 78. I almost messed up there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm making a video. And then I like, and my head starts firing on all circuits, trying to remember what I was talking about or what I wanted to say. It's just the weirdest thing. It's like, it's not live, obviously, because I'm not live. I'm making this and then editing it and posting it and stuff. But I usually do these in one run through and then I'll, you know, cut out the boring parts of the parts where I'm just saving up, but, um, oh, ability. And then, so it's just crazy just how like it is, I guess it is live, huh? Guys, I'm losing my minds. Well, we'll get back to it. I'll get back to the whole swing of things and how this all works. But for now, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. We are pretty much done with it. We have money left over. It was really simple. The um, boomerang made it super simple. We're going to have a, both of our abilities ready for 70 or for 80. Um, at this point, you can buy a sniper to help out. I don't know if you'd have enough for like, let's say the Moab, main Moab, would you? I don't know. But it's up to you what you guys want to do from here. You can add another sub because I think you'd have enough for the armor piercing. And it's all pretty simple after that. There we go. Look at that. So now we will not use any abilities until we need to. We probably won't even have to. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you guys out. If it if it is too much for you because you don't have that much monkey knowledge, definitely let me know. We'll work something out. I'm going to use my ability there just because it's looking a little ugly. But now we have it there. So again, let me know below what if any problems you guys are having. Let me know below if you give me a thumbs up if you guys are into it with the monkey knowledge and if it's still helping you and you're still getting some kind of satisfaction from it and it's helping you pop these. If it's just craziness and it's not working for you and you guys are back with you know the easier maps and you're still having struggles without or with monkey knowledge, let me know that below. And then also just let me know anything below. Let me know what you guys have been up to for the last couple of weeks or things like that. Just cause I haven't talked to most of you, if not all of you, and I have not been on stream or nothing like that. So out of the loop guys. So just let me know everything you guys want to let me know below and I will shut up and leave you guys to the next one. Hopefully we'll have that bizarre chimps by Friday. I've been struggling with that one, having the same problem as where I go through it and then it doesn't work for me on the second run. I'm trying to figure out something to make it super easy for you guys. If not, we'll do another half cash. If you guys give me the thumbs up below on it and you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully we can keep growing this channel for another year and get real crazy with it. And I will see you guys next time.